just so, let me let me just one minute. I just we are happy to have uh, Tamoki Nakanishi today, who will speak about dialog algorithmic identities. And before he starts, uh, let me just repeat my request. So, if you have, if you want to hear some talk or you want to give a talk, so please uh, contact me because I think my uh, how to say royal government is close to end. And I, I want to kind of distribute responsibilities. So please uh, send your suggestion to me and then we will kind of schedule talks that you want. Uh, Tamaki, please. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the invitation. And uh, uh, today I uh, talk about uh, dialogarism identities and cluster algebras. And this is not the most recent uh, result. And I have already given a uh, several version of this uh, subject uh, in uh, several places. But uh, I, I think, uh, at least for uh, some of the audience, uh, this is a new subject. So uh, I will explain these uh, things. Okay, so uh, let me first uh, recall what is a dialogarism function. Actually, there are two uh, kinds of uh, dialogarism which I will consider. The first one is the original uh, one uh, introduced by Euler, and it is called Euler dialogarism. And uh, uh, this uh, is uh, defined, first of all, by power series, yes, uh, like this. And uh, uh, the name uh, dialogarism is uh, uh, coming, so if, oops, this is, sorry. Should work. Yeah. If so, this uh, two uh, imply uh, this is dialogarism. In fact, if uh, this number is a one instead of uh, two, this uh, L1x is nothing but the logarithm function. More precisely, it is a uh, such function. Yeah. I mean, the power series expansion of this one. So uh, this is why it is called dialogarism. And you can replace this two to three, then the function is called three logarithm. And also uh, any integer k, it is called holy logarithm. Okay, and uh, uh, this uh, power series uh, is a convergent uh, power series and the uh, convergent, convergent radius is one. Okay, and uh, we have a uh, 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 integral expression of this function, uh, which is written in here. And uh, you can easily see that first, uh, uh, this one, if you make a derivation uh, of this integral, and you, you just obtain as a power, uh, uh, power series uh, derivation of the first power series of a uh, Dialogues function. So uh, you can easily see that this is an integral expression. And uh, with this uh, integral expression, uh, one can now uh, analytically continue to any point on the complex plane. <clears throat> However, uh, there is some prob a, a problem of multi-bodiedness due to the obvious uh, multi-bodiedness of a uh, logarithm at uh, y is equal to one, I mean, this point. So uh, to make a, 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 a simple in my talk, I just uh, constrained this function just on the, re, re, on the real line, uh, which is smaller than one. Then uh, this function, uh, of course, uh, is a single value. There, there is no problem of ambiguity. And uh, of course, you, you can analytically con continue to, to any point, but uh, uh, in this talk, uh, it is not necessary. So uh, first uh, uh, important uh, property of this function is the uh, following value. So first of all, it is obvious, but uh, important that if you put x equal to zero to x, then uh, this is zero, okay? And also uh, another important constant is uh, ri to one. And uh, then uh, uh, you see uh, by this uh, integral expression, uh, sorry, uh, by, by power series expansion. Uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, uh, value uh, of a Riemann Z function at two, and uh, this uh, uh, value is of 
also uh, known by proved by Euler that it is pi square over six. So these uh, two are, are constant is very important. And uh, it is a monotonic uh, function and uh, here is a graph. And uh, it's just a, a monotonic uh, function which does not have any, any special uh, interest. But uh, as a, uh, why it is uh, interesting? So first of all, uh, I'm going to explain, but uh, it satisfies uh, various uh, functional identity. And uh, I just uh, simply call this dialogarism identity, or as simply write as di in my talk. And uh, uh, Zagier described this function, uh, that uh, this function uh, has a, a sense of humor. It seems uh, strange, but the function uh, 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 has a sense of humor, but uh, uh, I think uh, many people working on this subject uh, agree with this uh, description of the function. And uh, I'm going to uh, explain uh, in my talk, uh, try to explain uh, how this function really shows a sense of humor. Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, our first function. And the second dialogarism uh, uh, logarithm is called uh, Rogers dialogarism. So Rogers is a uh, uh, Rogers of uh, Rogers Ramanujan uh, 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 identities, and uh, it is also uh, more than 100 years old. And uh, as a function, L, L of X, uh, is uh, defined by the uh, following uh, uh, integral expression, which is uh, almost uh, um, just as a, a say a symmetrization of uh, our uh, uh, integral expression uh, symmetrization to y and one, one minus y and uh, divided by one half and uh, one can uh, uh, quickly uh, ob obtain its relation to uh, original Euler's dialogues by partial integration namely uh, it is essentially the same function but uh, with uh, this uh, log uh, part here, yeah. And uh, once again, uh, uh, there is a, a problem of multivariateness. Now we have two points, uh, y equal one and y equal zero here. So uh, to to be uh, to the function to be uh, for the function to be single bodied, I just concentrate on, on this uh, very small uh, interval. Of, uh, on the real right, yeah. But uh, this is what we, we'd like to use. And once again, uh, the value, uh, constant value uh, at zero and one is important. It's the same. If you put uh, x code uh, zero uh, one here, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, zero times infinity, but the result is zero. <laughs> so uh, the constant is the same. So uh, the uh, graph looks some, something like this. And uh, if you uh, see a plot of, by Mathematica, it's actually almost a uh, linear function. Of course, it's not, a, uh, it's not a linear at all, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it's rather uh, uh, seems uh, tedious. But uh, what is the use of this function? Well, uh, one uh, particular feature is uh, uh, it simplifies uh, some uh, dialogism identity. This is what uh, Rogers uh, found and uh, introduced this function. Then I'm going to uh, explain uh, what I, I, I mean by dialogism identity. So two are main, uh, uh, first, uh, most uh, fundamental um, identities. The first one is called Euler identity, and it is just uh, this form. So Lx, so L is the Roger dialogism. And uh, Rx and plus uh, L one minus X uh, is uh, equal to pi square over six. <clears throat> and uh, let's uh, make a proof of this. Uh, it's, it's, it's very easy. Uh, actually, this identity uh, consists uh, of two statements. First of all, uh, left-hand side uh, is constant with respect to X. And uh, the second uh, uh, claim is that uh, this constant is pi square over six. So uh, let's prove uh, separately. First, uh, let's prove that the left-hand side uh, is constant. And to, to see it, you just make a derivation. So, and then, of course, uh, since it is uh, defined by uh, integral, uh, so you just remove this uh, integral. And uh, uh, first, from uh, derivation of L of X, you, you have uh, uh, 
this one, yeah. And uh, uh, from the uh, second term, you have uh, the same one, but uh, we have uh, minus them because uh, we have uh, minus here. So they cancel out. Uh, so due to uh, this symmetrization, uh, it cancels out completely. So uh, the deviation is zero. Yeah, so it is constant. And to know the, the value, uh, you just set uh, x equals zero, and then the, the first term is zero. And second term is uh, pi square over six. So uh, the, uh, this constant value is uh, pi square over six. So this is a proof of this Euler identity. Okay, let me continue. And the uh, second one is a little bit more uh, sophisticated identity. Uh, it is due to Abel and it's called Abel identity or sometimes uh, called Pentagon identity. <clears throat> and it, it now uh, contains two uh, uh, independent variables which uh, live in, uh, belong to zero to between zero and one. <clears throat> and uh, so let's prove uh, uh, this uh, I mean, uh, uh, identity. Uh, the same strategy to uh, show that left hand side uh, is uh, a constant. You just uh, take uh, the partial uh, derivation to derivative of uh, x and y. And uh, you just uh, plug in those uh, uh, things uh, into our integrand here. And uh, it takes uh, uh, three to five uh, minutes, uh, depending on, on, on how you do it well. But uh, uh, if you add five uh, uh, terms coming from uh, uh, the terms coming from these uh, five terms, then uh, they uh, cancel out. And it is a purely uh, algebraic, algebraic uh, manipulation. Uh, it is uh, some important fact. And so uh, it is constant. And to know, know the uh, value, uh, you just set x and y to be zero. Then we have uh, uh, zero, zero. But here uh, we have one, one, and one. So we have uh, three ones. So uh, three times L1 is a constant value. That is pi square over two, yeah. So uh, these examples are, are uh, two uh, dialogues. And then you see that uh, this identity is very pretty in if you use Rogers dialogues. But if you use uh, Euler dialogues, you have uh, extra log terms and they, they don't cancel out. And so uh, it, it, it's not neat. But uh, uh, Roger's dialogues uh, somehow uh, clean up uh, those uh, extra things. Okay. Now uh, I explain uh, two uh, some uh, two uh, facts about uh, additional facts about uh, dialogues function, which is important uh, to my story. So uh, I just recall uh, this is a definition. Uh, this is a definition. Uh, uh, integral expression. And uh, I, I somehow uh, would like to uh, change this uh, minus sign to plus sign, so plus, yeah? To do it, you just uh, uh, change your integral variable from y to minus y. So then uh, minus sign are here and here cancel out. But uh, we have a minus sign here, okay? So uh, now uh, somehow we, we can, uh, we'd like to absorb this uh, minus sign just putting uh, here minus here. So now we uh, get rid of uh, any minus sign and uh, this uh, ex expression, but of course uh, uh, now uh, uh, the value of X are uh, in this region. Okay, so this is one uh, important uh, expression. And uh, second one, uh, first of all, I, I just recall uh, that uh, Roger dialogues and uh, Euler dialogues are related by uh, with this extra term. And uh, by the way, uh, there are a similar expression. If you plug in is, uh, this uh, one x over one plus x uh, here, then uh, actually it is uh, equal to the right hand side. And uh, uh, I haven't seen this formula in any uh, textbooks. Uh, Maybe it should be written somewhere, but uh, it, it is a uh, less uh, known formula. And uh, uh, accordingly, we now uh, consider this uh, X value uh, uh, non-negative. And uh, then uh, you see, uh, if, if X is non-negative, then uh, this uh, expression is in between, so it is, uh, 
it is positive, uh, but uh, it is uh, smaller than one, uh, smaller than one. And uh, uh, so this one is uh, greater, it's a positive, yeah? So this is also positive. Uh, sorry, this is negative, and which is a constant with, uh, with this. Uh, so everything is well defined. And uh, uh, in my talk, this uh, formula is kind of, uh, I would say, most important formula, yeah, MIF, yeah. Uh, of, of my talk. So uh, please just uh, uh, remember that there, there are some important formula. And uh, later, I will use this, this formula uh, in a, at a very a crucial point. Okay, and uh, uh, anyway, let me go on. Okay, by the way, uh, the uh, proof of this uh, identity set is very easy. You just uh, take the derivative of uh, uh, both sides and uh, then uh, again, uh, by uh, some algebraic manipulation, you, you, you see that they, you see uh, both sun size coincides. Okay, now uh, I'm going to uh, explain. Uh, so far, any questions? Okay, so uh, now let me continue. That uh, I'm going to explain that these uh, dialogism identities are actually related to uh, cluster algebra. And uh, uh, so in brief, uh, uh, situation is this. We, if you have uh, some periodicity, in cluster algebra. And then you obtain associated dialogarithms identity, which I'm going to explain. So uh, first, uh, I, I uh, explain two uh, uh, things uh, in the previous two examples. So first, I, I consider uh, cluster algebra of type A1. And we show how our OI identity uh, coming from. So uh, we consider a kind of time uh, develop, development uh, of uh, uh, what is called Y seed. So Y seed is a combination of a quiver and white variable. So I like, so this is not zero, but this is a, a single vertex, yeah? And uh, uh, since uh, it, 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 it looks like a dinking diagram of type A1, so it is called a cross algebra type A1. So this is an initial, what is called initial Y seed, yeah? And you make a mutation uh, at this uh, 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 vertex, and uh, uh, quiver does not change at all. However, uh, uh, y variable are uh, changed to, to its inverse. It's just by by definition the mutation of uh, mutation of y variable. <clears throat> and uh, if you make uh, once again a mutation uh, from here to here, and uh, once again uh, quiver does not change, but uh, uh, y variable or also inverted once again. So it come back, come back to the uh, original one. Uh, so this is an example of the periodicity. Yeah, quiver does not change and the y variable also does not, uh, it come back to, to the original one. And uh, if you uh, have such uh, periodicity and uh, you somehow consider this uh, part as a fundamental region, yeah? Fundamental region of periodicity, and uh, you just pick up uh, those y variable uh, in this form. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, if you uh, denote this uh, uh, part just as x, yeah. Uh, uh, so this one, uh, the another one, is uh, because uh, uh, y one is the inverse of uh, your initial y variable, so it, it has a, a foreign. Uh, formula, yeah, and uh, you uh, multiply uh, y, y zero to the numerator and the numerator, you, you get this one, yeah. And uh, you know, the, the, this if you add this to this one, uh, you get one. So it means uh, if we put this is x, then it is called one minus. So uh, what I, I get uh, is the following uh, combination, yeah. Uh, and uh, if you remember, uh, this is exactly is the uh, Euler left hand side of, of uh, Euler identity I just wrote. And here I, I haven't yet explained why this is constant. Uh, I just explained uh, where uh, this left hand side uh, comes from. Okay. And uh, I, I do the same thing uh, for other identity. Here I use uh, 
cluster algebra of type H. So it is more uh, elaborated calculation. Yeah. And uh, once again, uh, we consider initial y barrier, initial y seed with a quiver uh, of type A2. So, uh, but with, uh, it's a linking diagram of type A2 if you forget the direction of this arrow, yeah? And uh, uh, we attach uh, for each vertices uh, what is called Y barrier. And uh, so Y1 and Y2 is a uh, uh, simplified notation for uh, initial uh, y, y barrier. And uh, you are going to make a mutation for first uh, at this vertices and you get something. And uh, a quiver is, uh, is uh, becomes opposite uh, quiver. And uh, the rule uh, of, uh, it's a mutation of Y variable. And if you mutate uh, the first vertices, then that one is uh, inverted. And uh, you also have to uh, change uh, the second variable. The rule is actually given by uh, this quiver, and uh, uh, it is interpreted as the following a simple formula. So it, it is a, a y2 is the original one. And you just uh, multiply uh, one plus uh, the other y variable. So this is a, a rule. And uh, uh, once you get uh, this one, then you, once again, make a mutation to uh, the next one by making uh, another vertices. And uh, uh, quiver, uh, again, uh, interchanged and uh, it, it continues like this. And uh, the uh, Y variable also mutated by exactly the same rule. So for example, if you make a mutation here, first of all, uh, this one is just inverted, yeah, like this. On the other hand, uh, the, uh, the other one is uh, uh, original value uh, times one plus the next one, yeah, the other guys. And so this is a formula. And uh, you, you just uh, expand uh, this formula uh, for, for later uh, convenience. And uh, this, uh, it continues. So uh, next uh, we make a mutation at uh, this uh, this vertices, and uh, you get uh, once again uh, inverted. Uh, this one is inverted, so you have this one. On the other hand, uh, uh, the the next one is uh, this is the same as as this one, and uh, one plus the other guy here. Yeah? So uh, now uh, nice things happen uh, uh, in this calculation. So this is uh, somewhat uh, important uh, here. Uh, so uh, you. Uh, uh, get out this uh, factor to in front, and uh, then what you get is a, a, a polynomial uh, which has a factor uh, one plus y one. Yeah, so uh, they cancel out, and uh, it becomes simplified. So this is the same uh, uh, mechanism of a uh, low run uh, phenomenon, but this is not a, a, a low run monomial. For example, this one is not a broader monomial, but uh, uh, anyway, the same uh, uh, phenomena happens. And uh, so we are almost done. So we do uh, another mutation here. We have our uh, inverse of uh, maybe I made uh, some um, mistake uh, uh, inverse somewhere. Uh, here, maybe inverse. Yes. And uh, you, you have some formula. And uh, uh, it turns out uh, this just uh, uh, cancels out and you have some monomial. And finally, we make a mutation and you have uh, uh, once inverted Y2. And the other one is uh, here. And uh, it is also become very simple. So uh, it is a periodicity. So uh, this first, first variable, becomes uh, uh, the, the y2, which is the initial uh, variable here, and uh, this is y1. But uh, uh, two are uh, interchanged. And also, or this uh, quiver is also flipped. So it is also interchanged. So indices are kind of are interchanged. So this is a half periodicity. It's OK. Uh, if you do it one, uh, five more times, and you get full periodicity. But, uh, uh, for 
our uh, point of view, this half period of CT is uh, enough. So this is, uh, once you get such a partial period of CT, uh, you consider a fundamental region here. And uh, you just uh, pick up uh, only Y variable, which is, uh, which correspond to the mutated vertices. So, I mean, this one, this one, this one, this one, at uh, each time. So we have uh, there from this, uh, and uh, at time one, you have uh, two, because the uh, second vertex is inverted. And you have uh, one here, we have two here, we have here. We just consider such things, yeah? And uh, you just plug in those uh, rational expression uh, by uh, those uh, initial y variable. And it, it turns out that um, if you uh, write uh, this expression as uh, capital X, and if you write this expression as capital Y, then uh, uh, you just uh, calculate these things and uh, it coincides with these terms. Uh, and uh, one minus X, Y is equal to, to this one and uh, this one. And this is, uh, this five terms is exactly the one which uh, appear in other identity. Okay, so uh, uh, I explained that uh, Euler and our identity is, uh, is exactly the uh, uh, identity associated to cluster of algebra of uh, most uh, two uh, simplest uh, example, I mean type A1 and type A2. And this is of course uh, our tip of iceberg. You can extend this to type A3, A4, B, C, what, whatever. So, or many more. And uh, the general situation is as follows. Uh, this uh, example uh, can be uh, fully generalized as follows. So uh, let's first co consider uh, R plus, which I mean, uh, it is a set of positive uh, real numbers, but uh, it has the same field structure and by ordinary multiplication and add add addition. It means that uh, first of all, it is a, uh, uh, it doesn't contain zero, so it's a positive. So. And so it is an Abelian group by uh, multiplication. And also uh, it, it is uh, uh, closed by addition, not so by uh, uh, subtraction, but uh, at least, uh, 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 so this is uh, exactly the same field structure. And uh, also I have to fix uh, some uh, one integer, it is called the rank underlying uh, cluster algebra. And uh, we consider uh, what is called uh, Y seed, and we consider it as initial Y seed. Here, uh, B uh, is, uh, in my talk, just for simplicity, uh, I concentrate on, on a skew symmetric integer matrix. But uh, of course, uh, it, it can be replaced to skew symmetrizable uh, case, but uh, the uh, formula uh, becomes a little bit, uh, uh, need some uh, modification. So I, for simplicity, uh, in my talk, uh, I concentrate on skew symmetric integer matrix. And uh, Y variable uh, belong to, uh, you may uh, think uh, in, in uh, two ways. First one, it is uh, an tuple of uh, just algebraic ind independent formal variables. Or uh, you may consider this uh, uh, an, uh, an tuple of uh, Y as uh, arbitrary points in R plus N. Yeah? And uh, so it means uh, Y is a, a coordinate of uh, this space, so it's just like a, a coordinate of a xy plane, so xy uh, may be considered as algebraic independent variables, or uh, you just x and y to be uh, some special particular point. And we uh, use this uh, point of, uh, two point of view uh, at our uh, convenience. Okay, so uh, I'm going to explain uh, what uh, is a, uh, uh, Dialogism identity associated with such uh, uh, YC. So we consider uh, sequence of mutation. So this is initial. Just give uh, this one initial YC. And uh, uh, let's uh, write this as B0, Y0. So zero is a uh, time zero uh, uh, YC. And we make a, a successive uh, mutation uh, for, for arbitrary direction, so first uh, direction to K0, 
and uh, you obtain uh, some something so time one and two and so on and uh, now you take uh, make uh, another mutation to another direction k, k of one and so on and you you continue this uh, t times okay so uh, when you make uh, and uh, you get some something yeah uh, and I, I'm going to uh, uh, request that uh, this six NC is, is periodic uh, in the following sense. So uh, let sigma be a permutation uh, of uh, this one to N. N is a uh, rank uh, uh, of this uh, Y seed. And I say uh, this uh, uh, sequence mutation is a uh, sigma periodic. Uh, if, uh, so the last result uh, is related to the uh, initial one just by uh, uh, changing uh, your indices by sigma. So uh, 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 this uh, is a, a generalization of the half period periodicity of uh, type A2, which I have already uh, uh, explained. Yeah. And uh, so my theorem uh, is as follows. If you have uh, such a uh, uh, sigma uh, periodic uh, uh, synthesis mutation, yeah? Uh, this periodicity is uh, very crucial. Then we have the following uh, dialogarism identity. So just I uh, explained in, in our case, uh, on order case, you just uh, pick up your y variable at uh, time t at uh, exactly the, uh, uh, at the vertices of uh, uh, which I made a mutation, yeah? So, and then the, you consider this uh, uh, combination and put it in a larger dialogues. And uh, you sum up uh, uh, over the, your fundamental region. And the claim is, uh, this is a constant. With, with res respect to the, now we consider this uh, initial variable as a uh, arbitrary point. And uh, you can change this y and uh, uh, theoretically, this, this uh, value can uh, change accordingly, but uh, uh, the identity means uh, uh, this uh, is independent uh, with re respect to this uh, initial value. Or if you consider it uh, is a formal variable y, then uh, it becomes a functional identity. And uh, so th there is a lot of history about the, this uh, identity. First of all, uh, it is uh, uh, or originated to uh, the study of uh, uh, what is called ROSS models in uh, integrable system, which is related to quantum group, uh, by the way. And uh, Toria Kirillov and Bajanov Reset uh, uh wrote down a lot of uh, dialogarism identity, which is not this functional type, but some uh, 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 specialization of uh, such uh, things. But uh, this is kind of open uh, uh, door uh, to to study this dialogism identity. The next uh, development was done by, uh, in, in 90s, uh, from the viewpoint of what is called Y system. And it was uh, first introduced by Alyosha Zamorochkov and also Kuniba Suzuki and myself and uh, also uh, Ryochan Tateo uh, using this Y system approach uh, uh, made a conjecture for such uh, kind of uh, uh, dialogism identity. And uh, uh, Frank Senesch uh, also proved something important, which I'm going to explain. But uh, those uh, uh, Y system, it is called dialogism identity of Y system, and uh, it remained uh, conjectures, and uh, we, we have no uh, proof for, uh, at, for, at all uh, at that uh, stage, uh, where at uh, year 2000, uh, uh, cluster algebra uh, appeared. And so uh, this time uh, is uh, called BC, uh, which means uh, before cluster algebra. Yeah. And uh, uh, anyway, uh, uh, Fomian and Zerbinski introduced, uh, and uh, uh, soon uh, it is recognized that this Y system uh, is a uh, part of this uh, uh, Y uh, variable. Or, algebraic uh, systems and uh, Shapton and uh, 
and for culture of uh, made uh, uh, some important uh, uh, observation and also uh, you know we Yamakela Kuniba and myself uh, work on on this subject and finally uh, this was uh, uh, summarized in in this cell yeah so uh, whatever uh, uh, your sigma periodic y, y uh, sequence of uh, mutation of uh, Y seed are uh, you obtain such uh, dialogism identity. Okay, uh, now I'm going to uh, uh, explain uh, how to prove this uh, uh, identity. So actually uh, there are uh, at least three uh, independent, uh, related but uh, independent method to uh, prove uh, this theorem. So uh, I uh, briefly explain, uh, not, in, not in detail, but uh, the first uh, method is uh, I call this uh, algebraic method, and uh, this is the uh, one which was uh, first uh, used uh, in my uh, in the proof of my theorem, and uh, this is based on the following uh, constancy condition here, and uh, this was uh, given by Frank and Senesh, uh, in a, in a previous uh, pages, and they come back to the uh, Spencer Brock. Uh, 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 work, but uh, anyway, the statement is is for so this uh, y uh, are the same uh, y variable, and uh, I don't explain uh, in full detail, but uh, we can uh, define the wedge product uh, of uh, those things, and uh, uh, you somehow consider our such a system of so this is a uh, one uh, algebraic equation and the uh, relation and uh, uh, Frank Senesh proved that once you have such a uh, uh, relation and you get a uh, dialogism identity. And proof is, is very easy actually. Uh, uh, you, you just make a derivation of a dialogism identity, left hand side. And uh, then uh, that vanishes if you, this uh, constancy condition uh, is satisfied. So it's very uh, elementary calculation. So uh, our, our point is uh, we need to prove, prove this uh, constancy condition from the periodicity condition. Uh, of mutation. And uh, this can be proved by, uh, again, a uh, two way. So first way is uh, using the Y system technique and uh, it uh, is just a kind of a three pages along uh, proof, uh, not so, so difficult. Or uh, I don't explain uh, at all, but uh, uh, there is some uh, related work by Fokan Goncha paper and uh, we can use this technique, uh, it, it can, I can prove this constancy condition uh, just by, by one page. So, um, so uh, uh, this uh, uh, theorem is not hard to prove. Once everything is uh, formulated, then uh, essentially it, it only take uh, one page is long. So you just show these things but from, uh, from the uh, periodicity condition. And uh, for the special, uh, for the specialists, I mentioned that we use sign sign coherence and separation formula. Anyway, uh, it's easiest method. You know, it, it only take one pages, yeah, to prove this dialogism identity. But unfortunately, uh, this does not uh, explain why the dialogue is uh, uh, relevant to cluster algebra. I mean, you can uh, make a proof of this one, but. Uh, uh, the proof does not explain uh, why uh, uh, those things, uh, dialogism function is, is uh, related to cluster algebra, not all. So uh, from this point of view, uh, this is not a satisfactory. So I think uh, here. And uh, the second method is uh, via quantization. And this is uh, due to Kashaev and myself. And uh, uh, here I, I use uh, uh, first consider quantum Y seed. Uh, this is uh, considered by Fock and Goncharov. And the uh, fact is the following. So uh, from uh, uh, our periodicity of uh, uh, classical Y seed, uh, uh, you uh, obtain the uh, periodicity of quantum Y seed. So periodicity are preserved uh, by quantization. And uh, once you, you have such periodicity, uh, you can uh, rather straightforwardly obtain quantum dialogism identity. So uh, pro quantum case uh, is easier than a uh, classical case, I would say. So this identity is for Fadeyev quantum dialogism. And uh, this result is uh, uh, due to Fock-Goncharov and also Keller and uh, Nagao and so on. 
And uh, what I, my point is, uh, from such a uh, quantum dialogism identity, uh, taking a so-called uh, uh, classical limit, uh, you get uh, our dialogism identity. So uh, it is, of course, a natural uh, things, but uh, here is some uh, uh, problem. So you mean, uh, this uh, H bar goes to zero limit is not simply a, a, a simple operation. So uh, here you consider a non-commutative variable, here we, we have a commutative variable. And uh, uh, you cannot uh, simply set uh, uh, it, it to be its commutative. And uh, to do that, we use a very standard technique uh, from a quantum uh, mechanics called uh, uh, semi-classical uh, uh, analysis. And uh, uh, this analysis, uh, at, at some certain crucial point, you have to make uh, what is called saddle point of approximation, which is uh, uh, very uh, infamous for, not notorious for uh, prove uh, uh, this uh, approximation. One variable case is, is possible, but uh, we consider several variable cases. And so unfortunately, this method is not considered as rigorous. Uh, it, it, it give, uh, it's consistent, but uh, it's not rigorous. Um, we sorry, I'm working. May, may I have a question? Sure. Uh, what is a delicate point in this saddle point approximation? Is it convergence or what? As I, I'm assuming so saddle point approximation is a uh, uh, Lagrangian, uh, Lagrangian equation. Uh -huh. And uh, this uh, is, uh, we don't know if this is really an extreme point or not. Because of convergence, uh, why Euler-Lagrange do not work? So, or because- I mean, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, to, 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 be, to be rigorous, so then you have to prove that this is a minimal point or maximal point. So those extreme conditions should be. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, this uh, Lagrange equation is just, just uh, stationary condition. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So that, that's one point. Yeah. Ah, okay, I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks. Okay. Anyhow, uh, let me go on. So, but we still have uh, one more uh, method, uh, which is due to Gestmann and uh, Lupe. Uh, and uh, here, a mutation is considered as a discrete dynamical system. And uh, uh, we have a, a natural interpolation of this discrete dynamical system to continuous one. And uh, uh, moreover, this continuous dynamical system is a Hamiltonian dynam dynamical system. And uh, uh, from the Hamiltonian, you can also consider a Lagrangian uh, counterpart. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, point of view, uh, clearly uh, explain uh, why dialogue is uh, relevant to uh, cross algebra. So uh, uh, from uh, such point of view, uh, this one is very, very good one. And uh, naturally I'm going to explain in, in the rest of, uh, uh, in the rest 15 minutes, uh, how uh, uh, this uh, things uh, works. Okay, let me go on, okay. Yep. So. So first of all, uh, uh, this Hamiltonian picture itself uh, is uh, uh, explained by Fock and Goncharov uh, quite clearly. So uh, he, shortly speaking, uh, Euler dialogism, especially this minus X, uh, is built into cluster algebra as Hamilton, yeah, which I'm going to explain. So uh, we, we consider our setting uh, is y seed, it's the same y, and this is a coordinate of this uh, positive real uh, numbers. Uh, and uh, because Hamiltonian uh, requires Poisson bracket, but uh, we have a uh, building uh, Poisson bracket for, for this y variable. This is due to Gestmann, Shapiro, and Weinstein. Yeah? And uh, this is a well known things. And now I, I recall, uh, finally recall the mutation of Y seed here. Uh, and uh, B uh, uh, prime is our ordinary exchange, uh, mutation of exchange matrix. And uh, also Y, uh, this is a, a general expression of a, a mutation of Y variable. I wrote it because I need this expression. 
And um, there are uh, uh, several ways to see this uh, mutation, but our point of view is that we, we consider this uh, as a map uh, from uh, R plus N to R plus N. So we consider it as a point and uh, a given point Y, uh, uh, by, by this uh, formula, uh, you have uh, another point uh, Y prime uh, through this expression. So uh, it is a map. Uh, I wrote this uh, mu, mu tilde k. Yeah. And uh, this mu, mu, mu tilde k, our Fock and Goncharov uh, observe that uh, the important observation, uh, they have a decomposition, natural decomposition, uh, namely, uh, first, uh, you low is uh, the first part, and uh, for y, we have uh, some intermediate uh, variable y tilde here. The y tilde i is given by this formula. And uh, this one is uh, especially this one, this factor. And but also, our, uh, there is a hidden uh, one here. Uh, when our uh, i is k, so this is a, a skew symmetric matrix, it is zero. So uh, it, it, the formula gives you one. So uh, so this one uh, is uh, for any i, uh, including uh, i equal k. Yeah. And uh, so we somehow ex excluded this one and we do this uh, in the second uh, uh, part, uh, it is called tau k. And uh, for, for y tilde, you, assign uh, such y, y prime by, by the following uh, thing. So i is k, i is into k, yeah. And uh, uh, this is uh, essentially uh, some linear uh, equation uh, in, in log uh, terminology. And uh, uh, what, I, uh, what is important is uh, we consider this row as a uh, dynamical uh, development uh, I mean, of time discrete dynamical system, time one flow. And uh, we rather consider this uh, as a, a separatory, as a change of coordinate of, of our phase space. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to explain this uh, a little bit more. But so, uh, and uh, we, let's uh, first of all concentrate on this uh, time one flow part. And uh, uh, now we consider Hamiltonian, which is uh, by definition infinitesimal generator of the time development. And we exactly take Euler diagrams, yes? And we have minus sign here. So we have this uh, positive uh, combination, which I have already explained this. And uh, Ham Hamiltonian by definition uh, gave you that uh, time development of uh, your variable uh, and y dot is a time uh, time derivative, uh, and uh, this the time derivative is given by this Poisson bracket. This is a equation equation motion by uh, by Hamiltonian, and let's calculate this uh, explicitly. So uh, this one uh, uh, is since h k is only depend on on the variable y of k. K is uh, some uh, fixed uh, uh, direction, and uh, so uh, you have uh, uh, such uh, things, and let's uh, calculate this more explicitly. So uh, if you make a derivation, you, you just forget uh, this one, and you have uh, this part. On the other hand, uh, from, uh, from this one, you get this one. Yeah, there is one nice uh, cancellation here, and uh, you somehow bring this factor to Look down, you get this one, okay? And uh, in, in particular, if you set i to be k, then uh, this uh, bkk is zero because uh, it, it is a skew symmetric matrix. So uh, this factor is zero. So uh, uh, yk is a, a constant uh, uh, variable, yeah? It doesn't change uh, along the, uh, Time development. It means uh, once again, if you look at this uh, as a, a derivative, and you can just exponentiate uh, this factor, and uh, uh, after time one, uh, you get this one, and this is a time one flow from this Hamiltonian, and this exactly 
uh, uh, this uh, expression. So somehow I, I, I summarize, uh, uh, we have uh, this Hamiltonian uh, due to uh, Euler dialogism, and you get uh, uh, this part. And uh, the rest of part is just considered as a change of uh, uh, coordinate over your phase space. So now uh, I, let me once again explain why our cluster algebra are related to diagram. It is because of uh, uh, because of, because you see uh, this factor and this factor is the same is an essential point. So uh, in, in this way, our uh, mutation here. Uh, Dialogue function is encoded. Now uh, it's, it's a little bit uh, side work, but uh, why did, did we have to choose this this function? It's a good question, and uh, you can actually replace this to to any other uh, polynomial simultaneously. It's possible, and actually everything uh, works quite well. So, and th this is called a generalized cluster algebra. So uh, cluster algebra is just considered as, as uh, most uh, uh, non-trivial uh, polynomial case. Yeah? And uh, uh, so uh, this uh, diagonalism is also uh, generalized to any uh, polynomial function, yeah? which is uh, I call uh, diagonalism of higher degree, which is not uh, unfortunate uh, poly polylogarism. Anyway, uh, so I have to be a little bit hurry. So now I so explain uh, why I, uh, this uh, Euler dialogue is related to uh, cluster algebra, but it does not explain why we have a uh, diagonalism identity, or uh, also uh, we the final expression is written by Roger's dialogue. Where this comes from? Why it's not uh, Euler, but uh, Rogers? Yeah, is a question. And those uh, two questions are quite related, and I'm going to explain. And here now, uh, finally, introduce this uh, Lagrangian point of view. And uh, so in Hamiltonian dy dynamics, uh, uh, you have a counterpart uh, of uh, Lagrangian, and this is described as follows. It, it is written in any. Uh, Textbook of uh, uh, classical mechanic uh, mechanics uh, in an undergraduate undergraduate course. So uh, usually we need a canonical, what is called canonical variable. It's not canonical at all, but uh, it is not unique at, at all. But uh, it is called canonical variable. Uh, and uh, you have uh, n is a uh, coincide. N is a uh, in our case a rank of our cluster algebra. And uh, you consider a pair of uh, uh, n tuple variable, uh, which has uh, satisfies following uh, um, Poisson bracket. And the Hamiltonian is a function of this uh, variable u and p. And then uh, Lagrangian uh, is uh, defined uh, by the following, uh, uh, what is called a uh, Legendre transformation. <laughs> and the formula uh, is given by the following things. So, and uh, uh, so uh, let me concentrate on our case. So, starting from given canonical variables, uh, first of all, you can construct uh, our y, y variable here as the following uh, simple expression. And uh, you, from from uh, such uh, things, uh, you can easily obtain uh, our uh, y variable. Uh, Poisson bracket. And uh, we uh, use this uh, Hamiltonian uh, as explained, and we uh, make this Legendre calculation. And uh, the result uh, is given, it is Lagrangian, and it, it is uh, this form. Here, uh, Hamiltonian is here. And this term is somehow interchanged into using this y variable is calculated this one. Now you, we recognize that this is, a, that this is what I call the most important uh, formula in my talk, yeah, MIF, yeah. So 
This is exactly uh, Roger's uh, dialogue function, especially with these uh, things uh, which is uh, necessary for our uh, dialogism identity. So uh, I can summarize uh, what I have uh, since uh, we have uh, two dialogism, Euler and Rogers, and uh, in a cluster algebra, uh, Hamilton, uh, Euler diagram is built in as Hamiltonian. But uh, you can make a Legendre transformation, and the, what you obtained is a Lagrangian, which is exactly Rogers dialogism. And uh, from uh, this Lagrangian, uh, you can obtain a uh, dialogism identity, which I uh, make uh, in the last uh, last second. Yeah, and uh, so uh, to get a uh, uh, dialogism identity, uh, you consider our action integral. So uh, I recall uh, our situation. So we have a uh, um, sequence of mutation. I recall. So this is the initial y variable, and then you make a, a mutation. Uh, at uh, one time, and uh, you get something. And uh, our assumption is this is a sigma periodic. And it is uh, schematically, we can view this uh, uh, as a dynamical development of uh, our phase space here in this uh, UP, which is a canonical variable. Uh, it is in the literature also called variable uh, coordinate. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, we have first uh, uh, got direction k1, maybe k0, and uh, you make a change of uh, coordinate or in your phase uh, space, uh, you uh, extend the, this tau uh, uh, transformation to whole uh, phase space is possible. It's canonical transformation. And uh, now next uh, to the another direction k1, you make a uh, uh, mutation. Uh, uh, time development and so on, and uh, you get uh, some something after uh, uh, time t, and uh, uh, periodic assumption uh, is uh, this point in the first coordinate, and uh, this point as uh, in the last coordinate coincides. Yeah, and uh, now uh, somehow uh, it's it's a different chart, but uh, we now. Uh, uh, Tell you the important fact that uh, uh, this underlying uh, uh, UP variables are also uh, sigma periodic. So, in fact, uh, after uh, if you, this is a sigma periodic, uh, this coordinate and this coordinate actually coincides. Yeah. There is some uh, disclaimer uh, which I, I I don't want to show you. So I wrote it in a very small uh, letter so that you you can't read it. Uh, but uh, uh, you can read it later. Uh, I, 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 I want to skip it uh, in my talk. Now, uh, for such a uh, uh, time development, uh, we consider uh, what is called uh, action integral, in, 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 which, which is a standard notion in uh, classical mechanics, S, yes, uh, which is just a uh, integral, uh, time integral of uh, your uh, Lagrangian along those uh, contour, yeah? And uh, since uh, this uh, LT is uh, uh, exactly Roger's L function, something like this, yeah? And this Y variable uh, is, is a constant. So uh, this uh, L is uh, constant uh, in each, uh, uh, segment. So uh, this one, uh, this integral just becomes a sum of Rogers. Uh, this is Hamilton. Yeah. And uh, so uh, now I, I re remember that this is uh, exactly the left hand side of dialogism identity. So dialogism identity is nothing but the action integral of this uh, uh, contour. Now, uh, what is uh, why it is constant? Well. So this is the second. So dialogism identity uh, consists of two parts. So this is a, a left-hand side or uh, is uh, coincide with this action. And the second uh, fact is, uh, in fact, this action integrals is independent of the initial point uh, under the condition of sigma period of C, uh, which I, I'm going to uh, explain uh, just uh, in the last line. 
And uh, essentially, uh, this is uh, just a finite version of a famous uh, Natal theorem. So uh, here it is written uh, here. So, uh, so to, to show the ind independence, uh, you uh, make a so-called uh, infinitesimal variation of those, uh, your initial point. And the, you, you dot uh, uh, in a Lagrangian picture, you, you dot is also sifted. Uh, and then uh, Lagrangian uh, is uh, sifted uh, by just uh, this partial uh, differential situation. Yes, and uh, due to Euler-Lagrangian equation over this uh, Lagrangian, you have something here. And uh, this one is also just time derivative. So uh, this is a total uh, time derivative of uh, some uh, something. And uh, uh, in a usual Natal theorem, uh, this is called uh, infinite gen generators of this uh, variation. And uh, if this is uh, supposed to be zero, then uh, uh, this is, is uh, uh, in, uh, integral motion is what is called Natal theorem. But uh, we, we don't use this. Uh, uh, but we rather uh, need uh, the integral of this uh, L. So our time uh, variation of S uh, is uh, just given by the integral of uh, this one. But uh, this one is a total uh, derivative. So you can uh, immediately integrate into uh, the segment. I, I give a little bit uh, um, detail. So uh, someone uh, care about it, what, what happened to this one, but uh, this is a canonical transformation. And uh, by this canonical transformation, uh, this factor uh, is uh, preserved. So uh, the change is really uh, uh, coming from the boundary. But uh, as I mentioned, uh, this uh, things, uh, if a sigma periodicity uh, is assumed, then uh, UP is also uh, sigma periodic. So uh, this is exactly zero. So this is a, a derivation of a, a dialogism identity. So uh, I have explained uh, where it comes from, and uh, I explained uh, why a dialogism identity uh, holds uh, from, from the viewpoint of a, a classical dynamics. So uh, from this dialogism, uh, we have a dialogism identity. Okay, so uh, here was, uh, so in this talk, I, I cheated, I mean, I simplified my explanation on the following things. I skipped, uh, intentionally skipped the necessity of a tropical sign because uh, uh, due to the lack of the time. And also uh, this uh, uh, Hamiltonian Lagrangian is actually a singular uh, one and uh, you have to be careful about that. And everything was uh, uh, taken care of our paper very carefully. So uh, uh, look uh, our paper for details. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, questions? I have a question. What will be in the right hand side of this identity? So what this identity, be... yes, yes. So uh, first of all, from uh, this point of view, this, this is nothing but the, um, the value of action. And uh, from the point of view of uh, um, cluster algebra, it is just the number of uh, uh, positive uh, C vectors uh, during the mutation. But is it uh, multiplied by pi or divided by six? It, it is, it is, I mean, uh, uh, pi square over six times uh, some uh, integer. Ah. And so it, this integer uh, is a number, uh, counting the number of uh, uh, what is called the positive C vectors. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so I have a short question, Tamuki. Yes. Uh, uh, so in in your counting, you somehow uh, double the number of variables. For instance, if you have just a yes, few yes, yes, yeah. So. Um, yeah, you find some uh, problem, right? Yeah, so how yeah, yeah. it's related yeah. to just a uh, standard accounting, for instance. We yeah, so that, that's exactly uh, uh, the singularity of uh, this Hamiltonian system. So it's it's a, 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 a kind of a, a over, so to make our setting, uh, you have to uh, consider the half, uh, 
uh, half, uh, sorry, a small phase space, which is a uh, half dimension of the, this uh, original uh, bigger phase system due to the singularity of this Hamiltonian. So it, it's some uh, technically uh, important, but uh, I skip everything in my talk. Okay. Hmm. I have another question, if I may ask. So hmm. what is the relation of your identities with uh, the initial identities of uh, Kirillov, Rishitikhin? Ah, yes, uh, it, it is a specialization of uh, uh, one. Uh, so, for example, uh, here, other identity, you, you, how to say, sorry. Uh, here, uh, uh, you can uh, find a special solution that uh, everything, every y variable is the same. I mean, uh, this uh, five factor uh, is the same one. Uh, it, it is a, a, it's a special case of, of uh, uh, this identity. And uh, that gives you uh, uh, the identity by conjectured by Kirill von Lesetich. Thank you. Um, any more questions? Okay, so let's thank Tamoki san one more time. And uh, um, so next week we uh, have talk by a PR group for Mandan. Uh, on um, uh, some combinatorial representation of a session if I remember correctly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. so, Thank you. Yeah. Bye -bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tamaki. Thank you. Thank you.